Hi, I'm Doug Young. Uh, I get asked a lot about stereo pickups, dual source pickups, and I'd like to explain and demonstrate my setup today. Dual source just means that you have two different pickups in the guitar, and usually it's done in the hopes that the two pickups somehow complement each other and sound better than either one by itself. The setup that I'm using, that I'm going to demonstrate for you today, uh, uses an internal microphone paired with another pickup, but you can actually combine any two types of pickups. What I've got in this guitar is a Barbera Soloist pickup. It's an under saddle type, but it's integrated into the saddle, and an Audix L50 internal microphone, which you probably can barely see, just inside the sound hole here. This is just one of these little lavalier type bikes, you know, that you see people uh, have clipped to their collars on TV shows and stuff. And so that works uh, really well when you're uh, for, for adding some air to your guitar. So both these pickups are passive. Uh, they don't have to be, but I kind of like not having electronics or a battery in my guitar. And both pickups come out of a single jack, which is a stereo jack called a TRS jack, tip, ring, sleeve. And I can use a stereo guitar cable, tip, ring, sleeve, guitar cable, with uh, you sort of see the ring in there maybe if I hold it up against something where you can see. So that takes care of the guitar part. And, but to make this work, I need to have a blender preamp that has a couple of uh, important features. One, it needs to combine the two signals into one. So you need some kind of mixer, but also I want to uh, use a mic in this case, and this mic needs power. So the preamp that I select has to provide power. There's a number of these on the market. The one I'm gonna show you today is uh, my current setup. And this is a custom preamp that has an additional kind of cool feature that allows me to get a stereo effect that I can't normally get with other, with other systems. Uh, although I've been using this effect for a number of years now uh, with a little more complicated setup. But this new preamp, uh, this is made by a small company called Sun Audio. And it's a custom preamp and incorporates what I need to create a stereo sound. So let, let me uh, demonstrate this uh, preamp for starters and show you what happens. First of all, we again have the stereo jack going into the preamp and the preamp automatically routes pickup side to one channel and the mic to the other and provides power for the mic. And this is very typical of many of these preamps. Let's take a look at just the uh, pickup channel. It's very simple. This, this preamp has a very simple uh, controls. I simply have a volume and I have bass and treble. And that's enough to actually produce quite a bit of uh, you know, tonal variety and give me, allow me to dial in a sound. These, these can tone controls on the Sun Audio pick preamps are uh, really effective. Let me, uh, let me just show you what, um, let's start with no bass. So you can see I have quite a bit of EQ control uh, just with these simple controls. Now the other side is the mic channel, and let's take a look at how that works. First of all, I need mic power, which I have turned on. And an internal mic inside of a guitar, one problem is it can be a little bit boomy and unnatural sounding. The inside of the guitar is just not a great environment for a microphone. So we need to EQ it a bit. And let's start flat and hear what it sounds like. If I were to play without any EQ, it's not terrible, but it's a bit boomy. And especially when I'm playing louder through an amplification system, that can cause feedback and it'll be even boomier. So we need to EQ it. And the type of EQ that I like the best is to have what's called a high pass filter. This is just a control that rather than cutting a certain amount of sound at a particular frequency, it has a fixed cut at a variable frequency. And I can adjust what that frequency is. So as I turn this high pass filter, you're gonna hear the bass get rolled off. Let's hear it. tighter. And I can still use the bass control, which I have on this channel as well, roll a little more bass off. So that's a tighter sound without so much of the low end boom that I get out of the internal mic. Um, however, it's still a little distant sounding, a little, uh, you know, lively, but that's okay. Cause what I want this mic for is to add in some of the air that's missing from the direct pickup sound. And when we combine the two together, we'll get a fairly nice uh, sound. So let's hear how we normally would combine these two. I'm gonna bring the pickup back up. Let me play something with just the pickup. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of mic. Or a lot of mic. So now we have the sound of both uh, coming through. 
Now this preamp, however, has uh, some interesting features that let me do something that I've uh, not really seen anybody else do, which may mean it's a bad idea, but it works for me. If I activate these two controls, what I'm going to get is that these, the mic and the preamp are going to be combined in a slightly more sophisticated way. I'm leveraging something called mid-side, which is a recording technique. And I don't want to go down a rat hole of describing it right now. You can look that up. And in fact, I have a video demonstrating how it works in for recording with a pair of microphones in a studio. But what the end result is, is that you get a stereo sound where the pickup goes into both speakers of a stereo system and the microphone goes onto one side mixed in normally and then the other side in inverted phase. So let me show you what happens in the stereo mode as I add the mic in. The more mic I add, the wider the stereo sound gets. And by the way, uh, you really need to listen to this demo in headphones or in good studio monitors or at least decent speakers. Uh, if you're listening to this on your mobile device or your laptop, uh, you're probably not going to hear this effect. I wouldn't be performing through an iPad or, or an iPhone uh, live. You'd be listening to larger speakers, full range speakers. And so you're going to need that to hear this effect. But here we go. Let me, I'm starting with the regular pickup. And now let's bring in the mic. You should be hearing a pretty nice stereo effect. Now I'm going to back this off a little bit and let me just play something. So I'm of course uh, playing fingerstyle and that's what I'm mostly going for, but even if for flat picking this effect works pretty nicely. Uh, let me show you what it sounds like with a pick. So let me quickly talk about the other two boxes on my pedal board. Very simple little pedal board. I don't have all the uh, fancy gizmos that a lot of people have on their pedal boards. I'm just trying to get a nice stereo sound. Uh, but these integrate with the preamp. This preamp has two sets of inserts, two sets of stereo inserts, so actually four all in total. The first set of inserts is before the stereo processing, so that I can insert uh, an effect only on the, say, the Barbera on this guitar, or only on the microphone. The other effect insert applies to the stereo signal. So what I've got on the uh, pre-processing insert is something called uh, Torpedo Cab, Cab M from a company called Two Notes Audio Engineering. It's an IR box, impulse responses. And this is meant as a cabinet emulator. It's meant to simulate cabinets. But what I'm using it for is to load my own impulse responses, which are a way of capturing the sonic signature of basically anything. And I've got it set right now simply to capture a more complex EQ than I could possibly dial in with any hardware uh, type of EQ pedal. In fact, let's take a look at that. I created this in the studio, and this is a curve that to me makes the pickup sound better. And we could go, I could do a whole video on the process for creating this and uh, how I'm going about creating IRs that I put into this box. But it's very flexible. I'm just getting started with this. It's a brand new device that just came out. Uh, but I think it sounds a little bit better, improves the sound of the pickup, and I can dial in any EQ I want, and I can have different EQs for different guitars. Pedal also has its own um, multi-band EQ included that I can do on top of the IR, and I can set different levels for different pickups and so on. So that goes in the pickup insert. Then the other thing is a stereo reverb. And this is the Ventress from uh, Source Audio. There are lots of great reverbs out there, um, and I've tried a bunch of them. What I like about this one is that it doesn't mess around with my stereo image. A lot of the uh, reverbs that are out there sum your stereo signal to mono before producing the reverb. And since I've gone to all this work to get a stereo sound, I don't want my reverb to mess with it. And this reverb leaves it alone. Uh, it's uh, actually capable of some really dramatic, uh, lush, reverbs, but I'm just using it for a pretty simple, just a slight bit of ambience. Let me show you. Here's what I've got. So that's the whole setup. And the whole goal is to get the sound of the guitar across um, to an audience and have it sound somewhat like the way I hear it when I play acoustically and to have a nice, wide, rich stereo sound. Let me uh, just close out by playing a little bit. I hope uh, this has been useful. Thanks for watching.